Meet Roosh V. He's a neo-masculinist blogger and pickup artist who fat shames women. Fat girls are simply unattractive, so why should you waste time dating a fat chick? And supports legalizing rape on private property. I'm saying legalize rape so less women would be raped. And here's the group of female boxers that wants to kick his ass. These days, women have no shame in hiding the fact that they are sluts. As you can see, Roosh V is not a good person. American women are not perfect. They wear pajamas in public. This is retarded. He runs a meninist group called Return of Kings, and if that weren't already awful enough, he hosts hetero tribal meetings to show men all over the world how to pick up bullying women. These are posts you have. Men would rather die than sleep with a woman over 150 pounds. Women were getting larger and larger. It has to be stopped. Dr. Oz fights back. Fat shaming doesn't work. That's the big message here. The women he attacks sound off. You don't know me. Oz faces off. Coming up next on Dr. Oz. There are monsters that lurk in the shadows of the internet, shaming and bullying people for the way they look. It's time for them to come out from behind their computer screens. Meet Roosh V. And he calls himself the leader of the international fat shaming movement. His goal? To encourage others to join him in publicly humiliating women for their weight as a way to force them to conform to his idea of beauty. The internet it makes it much easier than ever for bullies to hide, but I'm not letting them hide anymore. Celebrities under fire. Kelly Clarkson attacked on Twitter a year after giving birth. Comedian Amy Schumer mocked by web trolls for her weight. Now everyday people targeted by fat bullies, like Sean, internationally humiliated for simply dancing in public, all for body shape and size. The internet's a playground for fat shamers, and it's getting much darker. Rouge Valizade uses the pseudonym Rouge Forak to proclaim himself a fat shaming activist and organizer. So incendiary, he's on watch lists for embodying the dark underbelly of the internet, full of venom and vitriol. Rouge claims men would rather die than have sex with a woman over 150 pounds. He has even declared jihad on fat women. His mission, quote, to make it more acceptable to shame, bully, and humiliate fat women in the thinness. Now, he's calling for a worldwide fat shaming movement rallying his followers to snap photos every time you see a girl with a bit of muffin top and post them to Twitter. Today, we unmask one of the Internet's most notorious body bullies. Rouge Valizade, who goes by Rouge V, has agreed to join us in studio. So if you can't explain the purpose of this fat shaming movement, what's the intent? Sure. Right now, the intent is a reaction to the fact that in the past 30 or 40 years people in the USA have increased their size to such a point where two-thirds of people here are overweight. Um, I think that fat shaming actually will reduce the health concerns, the health problems that people face right now. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I disagree, and we'll come back to okay. that, but let me just, so people understand what you're doing, just read some stuff. These are posts you have. And this is I think it's hateful material, personally. Uh, you know, people hear what you say, but now that you're not hiding behind your computer, let's have an but honest conversation. I, I do not hide. My name is out there. You see me on, on the Internet. I do YouTube videos, so I, I don't hide, so I don't want people to, to think that. Here's one statement. Men would rather die than sleep with a woman over 150 pounds. How can you speak for all men saying that? For the men that I have met, men who are thin, who go to the gym three times a, a week, who lift, who exercise right, who have good jobs, they do not want to date a woman who is massively overweight compared to a thin woman. Which I'll speak just for myself, but okay. I, mean, I work out three times a week. Okay. I do what I can to stay healthy. I love women whatever shape they're in. Okay. It doesn't frankly matter to me what's on the outside. It's a much deeper issue that I'm searching for. But you, but you have to say that because you have millions of 
viewers. I think I am speaking in a way that men speak with each other in the locker rooms. You're in different I, locker rooms than me, Rush, and I'm not saying that because I'm on the show. I'm on the show because I believe that. If you but were the, the given major, an option between a woman who is 300 pounds and a woman who is 125 pounds and all else is, 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 is equal, would you honestly pick the woman who is 300 pounds? If, you know, first of all, saying all else is equal is a very difficult thing to process. Sure, sure. People learn through the messiness of life. I'm fascinated by people who are overweight. I'm fascinated by people who are underweight and everyone in between because we all bring less lessons of life. And if we listen to those stories, because the people in our life define who we are, then we learn from all of them. On the other hand, here's your comment on beauty, since you brought it up. Again, a quote from your website. Beauty on the inside. That's just something that ugly people and feminists say. You use such ugly words to describe beauty. I mean, ha have, you, have you ever had a weight problem? No. So how can I've you understand what because, they're feeling? Because how someone looks on the outside is indicative of how they are on the inside. If someone doesn't have the self-control self to exercise, to watch how they, how they eat, if they're big on, on, on the outside, that is a sign that there is probably some problems on the inside. Roosh, we're all messed up. <laughs> if you can hear my voice, you're messed up. That's who we are. Okay. That's your opinion. All right. Now, but, but, but part of this, but, but Bob, did, did you fat shame men too? We, the first thing I tell men who come to me when they want to increase their, their, their success in life is to hit the gym. I have caused thousands of men to eat right to go to the By fat gym. shaming so, them? Yes. Men, they don't, they respond to logic. If you tell a man in a faster way, if you tell a man that if you're thin, if your muscles look good, more, woman, more women will be attracted to you, they will sign up for a gym membership in a day. What do the women in your life think about what you're doing? What's your relationship with them? Your mom, sisters, cousins? They love me for who I am. They don't love me for the ideas. The ideas that I push concerns dating between women and men. I'm just stating a simple fact that men like women who are thin. Rush, I'm asking these questions because I'm trying to figure out why you're so screwed okay. up. Okay. I, 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 I mean, we're talking about fat shaming and that's what you're responding to. I'm trying to diagnose you. Now, let me just go to take you, You've mentioned several times that you're doing this for altruistic reasons, that yes. you want to help women and men, and men. That lose weight, right? I just did a quick search. Okay. I knew you were coming on this week. I actually went through these papers. 50 papers, 50 papers. Here they are. 50 papers showing that fat shaming doesn't work. It's the exact opposite. Now, what happens is when you fat shame people, they feel worse about themselves, their self-esteem drops, and then they eat to comfort themselves. What does work is making people realize how special they are. That's the big message but here. Does it, does it work? Now, I, I haven't seen that, but does the tips that you share, the advice that you share, is it... Is it helping? Because I see the obesity epidemic is growing. So what you are doing, what good intentioned doctors are doing, doesn't work. So we need to try something else. And I believe shaming, making a girl embarrassed to look the way that she does, will help more than you giving a tip to eat, eat right. You know, I'm not even going to have a debate. Here are the papers. You're going home I with didn't them tonight. have the opportunity. No, you don't have to read them. Those. You won't find a single paper that argues in your favor. In fact, I couldn't find a single person who watches this show who agree with what you're saying. Not one. Just give me one person in the audience now who thinks that if I make you ashamed of who you are, you'll lose weight. Okay. It's not going to happen. I'm looking around. I see no hands. This is a sampling of 200. What is it that made you get up one day and say, you know what? I'm going to put out hateful, fat-shaming messages. I don't think that it is hateful, but I will say that it was, it was sad that every year when me, a, a straight man, would have less options to date a thin, beautiful girl. Every year, women were getting larger and larger. It has to be stopped in some way. I'm on the same team as you. We just use oh. different we're, medicine. We're not on the That's same it. team at all, believe me. We, <laughs> but you're, you're on my team. We're ending the game. What angers me the most 
is that Rouge is up in the ante by encouraging others to take and post pictures of women that they see who have, quote, I'm giving this is your quote, mm -hmm. a bit of muffin top, bingo wings, or cankles. Now, I know how painful this is, so I found a picture on Twitter, one of your followers, okay. heavily blurted out because I want to protect this woman. Here's what the tweet says. This is what you're proposing and supporting. Here's the tweet. Fat pig pulls in front of me at a gas station and cuts off my exit and blocks people on the right. I mean, what do you say to women who are being publicly violated in this way by complete strangers who follow you?